Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In my previous videos, I have shown you how you can use NixOS and how you can use Home Manager to manage your application configurations. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can use NixFlakes to manage all your configurations in one folder and then source control. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal. And then I will log into my server. Next, I'm going to open my browser and go to my blog. This is the blog post. Before we start, I would like to talk a little bit about why we want to use Nixflakes. If you remember from my previous video, before I install Home Manager, I need to install Home Manager's URLs to our Nix channel. That means whenever we need to install a Nix package that is not in our current channel, we need to add its URLs to the channel imperatively. Also, our NixOS configurations and Home Manager's configurations are not stored in the same folder, which means we have two places that to um, store our configurations. You can use NixFlex to solve these two problems. Firstly, you can define different channels for your different applications on flakes.nix files. Then you can put all the configurations in the same folder and then do NixOS review switch reference a flake to this folder. Let me start a demo and show you what it looks like. So let me go back to my terminal. And if you remember from my last video, I installed my home manager as a standalone mode. So that means I've got a home manager uh, running here as the CRI. So let me just go to here. The first thing we need to do is to create some folders and copy some files. We can see here, so I've, I'm creating a my Nixflake folder. And under that, I've got NixOS and home manager folders, right? Then I will just copy the system configurations to the Nix. Then I will copy the system configurations to my um, NixOS folder and my home manager related files under home manager. Okay, so if we go to this file folder and then we can start creating my flake file, flakes, um, that, and then we can copy here. Let me explain a little bit what it does. So in the input section, we define our channels. So the first channel we want to use is this one, NixOS Unstable. The reason for using Unstable is that it's got the latest version of the softwares. Um, and then I've got the home manager URL defined here, which is following this um, channel. That means whatever the software home manager installs will be coming back from the Unstable channel, right? And then from the output session, because of we've got these two, then we need to put it here as well as the output. Uh, the system, this is x66, um, 64 uh, Linux. If you're using a on an ARM machine, you can use ARM64. Then because this is staying along installation, I've got NixOS configuration and home configuration separately here. For the host name part, uh, by default, um, the host name is NixOS. Uh, and on the home manager, I just put my username here. As you can see here, the NixOS folder has this uh, configurations file, right? And for home manager folder, I've got this home.nix file. After that, we can just save our file and quit. The next thing we need to do is to enable Flakes, all right? So by default on this um, current version, uh, Flakes is not enabled. So let's just go to TC configuration. I put this at, at the bottom of the file. After that, we can do a Nix switch. Done. So I'm going to copy the latest configurations to my uh, Nix OS folder, right? Um, no such file, sorry. So I will just go to this folder. All right, so um, then we can start building our configuration with Flake. So if we want to build our Nix OS configuration from Flake, we can copy this command here. It's pretty simple to our previous one. Instead, we just need to reference or tell um, this command where to find our Flake because the Flake is in the current folder. So I just put a dot here. As to the host name, remember we are building the configuration for the system. So it's Nix OS. 
Okay, so this is this error message means that well we enable that sh as the default shell for my user, but this is not enabled. So to solve this issue, just copy here and change Nico as configuration. We come down to here, you can see user, user, my user shell is ZSH. So I just copy here, build again. It works. So you can see um, because we are using the unstable channel, some of the configurations changed. So in the previous version, so it's 22.11, I, I believe this is the um, the, the settings you, you use or I use, uh, but in the, in the unstable version, it's changed to like this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Nix uh, allows you to, uh, to use that, continue to use that uh, previous settings. Okay, that's all done. That's how you build the uh, NixOS configurations from Flakes. So if we want to build a home manager, because this is in standalone mode, we can use the home manager switch command here, similar. So remember our username is FOMM and the same. The Flake file is in local, so we can do that. Okay, that's all. So you can see some of the software gets rebuilt because we are using the unstable channel, right? So um, so this is how you can use Flakes um, with um, staying alone installation. If you say you want to use Home Manager as the NixOS modular, I can show you how to do it now. So let's just open my um, flakes.nix file. Uh, also come back to this session. We will um, delete this part. Let me have a look, delete these parts. Um, and then I will copy this part and paste it here. Make the indentation looks better. So, and then change my username to this one. That's all we need. Next, we just need to use one command, which is the NixOS review switch and reference this flake. It will build everything for us. So one command to build both the system configurations and the home manager configurations. That's all done. So one thing I want to remind you is that if you're using Git to manage all your um, Flakes configurations or all your configurations in general, um, that means whenever you need to add a new file to this folder, you need to do git add and put this file to the stash. Otherwise, um, uh, Nix will not be able to find the new file. Okay, so that's all I want to share with you today. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.